good morning students in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the general characters of the algae okay today's topic for the discussion is the general characters of the algae <coughs> here the term algae it is the active term for all those chlorophyll bearing organisms which are thalloid okay the term algae it is used as a collective term for all those chlorophyll bearing organisms which are thalloid thalloid means the plant body which is not differentiated into the true root stem and the leaves okay the term thalloid means the plant body it is not differentiated into the true root stem and the leaves the algae these are the important members of the plant world and the it has the several significant important to the main okay algae the uh, these are the important member of the plant world and these are the several significant the human beings many of the algae that is these are very small and unattractive but most of them are very useful about 30000 species of the algae <clears throat> these are reported up till now okay about 30000 species of the algae are reported up till now the references of the algae these are found in the early chinese roman and the greek literature okay that means the algae these were known to the human being from the ancient time as the references of the algae these are found in the early chinese roman and the greek literature okay in the ancient time the ancient hamanians uh, used uh, some of the algae as a uh, food and also the algae it was used as a manure on the north coast of the france as early as in the 12th century okay that means from the ancient time the algae were known to the human being very well but their orderly and the systematic study it was started with the invention of microscope in the middle of the 17th century orderly and systematic study was started with the invention of microscope in the middle of the 17th century for the first time linnaeus in the 1753 coined the term algae he derived the term algae from the latin word the meaning of that latin word was the seaweeds he coined the term algae for the first time while giving the classification of the plant kingdom okay while giving the plant uh, classification to the plant kingdom linnaeus for the first time in the 1753 coined the term algae meaning the seaweeds for the first time okay and the orderly and the systematic study of algae it is called as the phycology the branch of botany that mainly deals with the orderly and the systematic study of algae it is called as the phycology phycology it is the term which is derived from the two greek words the first one is the phycos phycos means the seaweed and the logy means the study okay <coughs> the branch of botany that mainly deals with the orderly and the systematic study of algae is called as the phycology okay phycos it is a greek word the phycos means the seaweed and the logy means the study okay then the algae that is these are non vascular non vascular means that is uh, in the algae there are no any elements for the transfer of fluids as few exceptions to the water dwellers okay the conducting tissues like the xylem and the phloem these are entirely absent in the algae okay these are entirely absent in the algae that is the important character of the algae all the algae are non vascular that means the conducting tissues xylem and the phloem these are entirely absent in the algae then the algae they occurs in the variety of the habitat but the majority of them are aquatic then these algae these are active only in the moist places or in times of the moisture okay then that means the moisture it is an important criteria for the survival of the algae these are only active only in the moist places or in the times of the moisture then just we have discussed the plant body it is a thalloid 
that means it does not show the any differentiation into the various tissue system the plant body is thalloid it does not show the differentiation into the various tissue system they have mostly simple non jacketed unicellular sex organs simple non jacketed unicellular sex organs then the algae these are non embryophyte non embryophyte means that is after the sexual reproduction after the fertilization process the embryo formation does not takes place in the algae okay no embryo development after the gametic union okay no embryo development of the gametic union and that's why the algae it is said to be the non embryophyte then the plants having the distinct alternation of the generations there is a distinct alternation of generation in the uh, algae okay from studying these characters like uh, on the basis of the thallus like non muscular body then the simple unicellular non jacketed sex organs then no embryo development after the gametic union the algae and the fungi have long been grouped together in the thallophyte okay. okay these are the characters which are very common in the algae and the fungi that is these in both algae and fungi these are having the non muscular body then simple unicellular non jacketed sex organs then no embryo development after the gametic union algae and fungi have long been grouped together in the thallophyta okay while some algologist and mycologists believed that the above mentioned the common feature between the algae and fungi these are the result of parallel development and they do not indicate any phylogenetic relationship okay that means though the algae and fungi share some of the common features may believe that these are derived from the same ancestor but it is not true that is the algae and fungi these are the result of parallel development and they do not indicate any phylogenetic relationship then the first of all the occurrence of the algae here you can see the algae that is these are predominantly aquatic okay predominantly aquatic these are may be present in the fresh water or these are may be present in the ocean water okay whenever the algae these are present in the fresh water these are present in the ponds pools lakes slow moving streams or the water reservoirs okay they may be free swimming they may be free floating or they may be attached to the bottom in the shallow water then the algae when it is attached in the mud then such type of the algae it is called as the benthic algae okay and the marine algae means the algae which is found in the ocean water or in the sea waters these are said to be the marine algae these marine algae these may be completely submerged or they may be free floating okay here you can see the uh, red algae members of the red algae and the brown algae these are primarily the marine algae while the freshwater algae like the spirogyra eulothrix cycnema cladophora these are the freshwater algae okay the the another important thing that is the algae they may be the terrestrial algae terrestrial algae means what that is they may be found on the moist soil surfaces on the surface of the moist soil surfaces in that case these algae are referred as the saprophytes yes a p o p h y t e s okay terrestrial algae means the algae which is found on the surface of moist soil these are called as the saprophytes okay and the algae which are found just beneath the or just beneath the moist soil surface or these are subterranean to the moist surface these are said to be the cryptophytic algae okay terrestrial algae these may be of two type that is which are present on the <clears throat> moist soil surface these are called as the saprophytes and uh, which are present beneath the moist surfaces these are called as the cryptophytic algae 
okay then here you can apart from aquatic algae terrestrial algae there is a third group of algae that is the algae which is found in the unusual habitat okay the occurrence of the algae on the occurrence of the algae there are three types of the algae the first one aquatic algae second one terrestrial algae and the third one that is the <coughs> algae which is found in the unusual habitat unusual habitat here you can see the algae these are thermophytic thermophytic means the algae which are found in the hot water spring okay the algae which are found in the hot water springs at a quite high temperature that is these are the algae which can tolerate the temperature of about 85 degree centigrade okay here you can see the algae which are found in the hot springs or in the high temperature that is about 70 to 80 degree <clears throat> centigrade one of the common example of the thermophyte is the oscillotoria brevis okay that is the species which is found in the uh, hot water spring oscillotaria brevis then the algae that is the lithophytic lithophytic means the algae which are found on the surface of the moist rocks or the moist rocky surfaces or we can say the wet walls and the other rocky surfaces okay lithophytic algae means the algae which are found on the moist rocks on the wet walls and the other rocky surfaces okay then here number seven halophytic algae halophytic algae means the algae which are found in the extremely saline water okay halophytic algae means the algae which are found in extremely saline water or we can say that is the water which is having the very high salt concentration these algae are said to be the halophytic algae then you can see the cryophytic algae cryophytic algae means the algae which are present on the surf on the mountain peaks which are covered with the ice okay cryophytes means these are present on the mountain peaks covered with the snow and these algae these are imparting the attractive colors to the mountains okay these are imparting attractive color to the mountains such type of the algae are said to be the cryophytic algae then here epiphytic algae as the name suggests epi means the on and the phytum the algae which are present on the body of the another plant these are called as the epiphytic algae okay then endophytic algae endophytic algae means endo means inside that is the plant the algae which are present inside the plant body these are said to be the endophytic algae okay epiphytic endophytic which are present inside the plant body then epizoic algae epizoic algae that is the epi means on and the zoic means the animal the algae which are found on the uh, body of the animals for example these algae are growing on the shells of mollusks then turtles and the fins of the fishes okay these are growing on the shells of the mollusks turtles and the fins of the fishes such algae are said to be the epizoic algae then endozoic algae these are found inside the body of the aquatic animals okay for example zoo chlorella which is found in the hydra viridis and the zoo xanthella which is found in the sponges okay about 15 species of the oscillotoriaceae these are reported to be found inside the digestive and the respiratory tract of the different vertebrate animals okay that is about the uh, uh, that is about the endozoic algae then parasitic algae parasitic algae that is these are obtaining the food material from the host okay and thus these are responsible for the particular disease in the host here you can see the cephaluros cephaluras that is the type of the algae which is found on the uh, tea leaves 
and which is responsible for the red rust disease of the tea which is causing the heavy damage to the foliage of the tea okay then symbiotic algae these are living with the other plants in a mutually beneficial relationship mutually beneficial relationship for example the lichens lichens these are formed by the symbiotic association with the other fungi okay then the nostoc nostoc filaments these are found in the bryophytes like the anthocyros and the notothylus okay then another one that is the anabina anabina cycadi is the one species of the algae which is found in the corolloid root of the cycus okay that is all about the occurrence okay depending upon the occurrence the algae these are classified into the three groups the first one the aquatic algae second one the algae which is uh, the terrestrial algae and the third one the algae which are found in the unusual habitat then the thallus organization regarding the thallus organization the algae exhibit the great diversity in the organization of the plant body okay the sum of the algae are unicellular Unis though these are unicellular these may be motile or the non motile then some of the algae that is these are found in the colony large number of the algae they come together they live together and there is a formation of a large colony okay the cells are grouped in the aggregations then synovial algae it is the colony with the fixed number of the cells filamentous algae then these filaments these may be simple or branched then dendroid algae these appear like the microscopic tree if we observe these algae under microscope they will appear as a small tree and such type of the algae are said to be the dendroid algae this is the brief information regarding the thallus organization then structure of the algal cell that is uh, the here you can see the algae that is the only one group of the algae that is the cyanophycian members okay or we commonly called in cyanobacteria because in these algae there is a presence of the prokaryotic cell while in other all other groups the uh, algal cell is eukaryotic okay there is a only one group cyanophyce okay and the, as these are having the prokaryotic cell these are called as the cyanobacteria okay all you know regarding the prokaryotic cell prokaryotic cell that is where the nucleus is entirely absent and also the uh, membrane bound cell organelles these are also absent in the prokaryotic cell while in the eukaryotic cell here you can see the well developed nucleus is present and other membrane bound cell organelles like the endoplasmic reticulum then uh, here you can see the golgi apparatus mitochondria chloroplast these are all present okay in the eukaryotic cell well developed nucleus and the membrane bound cell organelles are present okay in all algae except the cyanobacteria or the cyanophycian members all the algae are having the eukaryotic cell in the algal pigments the color of the algae it varies due to the presence of the definite chemical compounds and these are called as the pigments okay the color of the algae it is imparted due to the presence of the certain colored uh, pigments okay and in algae all these colored pigments are grouped into the three groups the first one is the chlorophylls okay that is different five types of the chlorophylls are uh, reported from the algae okay for example chlorophyll a chlorophyll b chlorophyll c chlorophyll d and chlorophyll e okay different five types of the chlorophylls chlorophyll a chlorophyll b chlorophyll c chlorophyll d chlorophyll e these are reported from the algae from all these five types the chlorophyll a is common in all groups of algae while the chlorophyll b c d and e have the restricted distribution okay 
then the carotenoids about six types of the carotenes these are reported from the different algae and 20 types of the xanthophylls are reported from the then there is a one peculiar uh, type of pigment that is these are the phycobilins which are reported only from the algae okay phycobilins these are the pigments which are reported from only algae that is they include red colored phycoerythrins and the blue colored phycocyanins okay red colored phycoerythrins and blue colored phycocyanins these are reported only from the algae then here you can see the algal flagella algal flagella that is the flagella these are the organs of motility okay that is the cells uh, these are motile with the help of organ which is called as the flagella okay and these motile cells these are found in all algae except cyanophyce and the rhodophyce okay that means the motile cells these are entirely absent in the cyanophycian members and the rhodophycian members cyanophyce these are popularly called as the blue green algae and the rhodophyce these are commonly called as the red algae okay that means the motile cells these are absent in the cyanophyce and the rhodophyce the main function of the flagella is the motility there are two types of the flagella the first one is the whiplash these are referred as the acronematic flagella the flagella which possesses the smooth surface okay the flagella which possesses the smooth surface and the another type of the flagella is the tinsel or the pleuronematic flagella pleuronematic these are covered by the fine filamentous appendages which are called as the mastigonemes or the flimmers in this photograph here you can see this these are the smooth walled flagella that is these are not having the any type of the appendages on their surface such type of the flagella are called as the whiplash or the acronematic flagella whiplash or the acronematic flagella and here you can see these are the tin cell or the pleuromatic flagella that is these are covered with the filamentous appendages which are called as the mastigonemes or the flimmers okay and that's why these are called as the tin cell or the pleuronematic type of the flagella these are tin cell type of the flagella these are divided into the these three types here the first one is the pentonematic flagella pentonematic flagella means the mastigonemes these are arranged in the two opposite rows or radially present okay here you can see the pentonematic type of flagella means the mastigonemes or the flimmers these are arranged in the two opposite rows or these are arranged radially then the second type these are the pantochronematic 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 means the pantonematic flagellum with the terminal fibril okay here you can see the presence of the terminal fibril and that's why this type of the flagella it is said to be the pantochronematic type of the flagella and the third one here you can see the flagella the uh, flimmers or these uh, mastigonemes these appendages these are present only on one side of the flagella and such type of the flagella is called as the stichonematic flagella okay when the flimmers or the mastigonemes these are present on only one side of the flagella these are called as the stichonematic type of the flagella then another important thing here the flagella it may be isocont or the heterocont okay iso means similar whenever the flagella are of equal length here in this photograph you can see the flagella these are of the equal length in that case these are called as the isocont type of the flagella and the hetero means different whenever the flagella these are of the different length 
or simply we can say when the flagella these are of unequal size then these are said to be the heterocont type of the flagella okay the flagella they may be the isocont or the heterocont okay the algal flagella it is an important character which is used for the classification of the algae okay it is considered as the important character for the classification of the algae then the food reserve food reserve after the photosynthesis food material it is accumulated as in the form of polysaccharides okay the uh, the generally it is uh, accumulated in the form of starch which is found in the two algal divisions chlorophyta and the caryophyta okay then in the rhodophyta it is present in the form of floridian starch then in the brown algae it is present in the form of laminarin then in the euglenoids the food material it is stored in the form of paramagnesium while in the xanthophyta basilariophyta and the chrysophyta the food material it is stored in the form of leucosin okay and the fats occurs as a reserve food material in the appreciable amounts in the cells of xanthophyta basilariophyta and the chrysophyta okay the presence of the food reserve it is also the another important character used for the classification of the algae then the reproduction the algae it may reproduces by the three different methods the first one is the vegetative reproduction the second one is the asexual reproduction and the third one it is the sexual reproduction okay algae it may produce by the three methods of reproduction the first one is the vegetative reproduction second one is the asexual reproduction and the third one is the sexual reproduction the first one the vegetative reproduction in the algae vegetative reproduction in the algae it may takes by the way means okay vegetative reproduction in the algae it may takes place by the various means like the first one fragmentation cell division hermogonia formation then tubers budding formation of the adventitious branches these are the various means by the vegetative reproduction takes place in the algae fragmentation cell division hermogonia formation tubers budding formation of the adventitious branches then asexual reproduction asexual reproduction it is accomplished by using the specially differentiated cells that are capable of multiplying directly the alga without fusing with the other cells okay asexual reproduction it is accomplished by using specially differentiated cells that are capable of multiplying directly the alga without fusing with the other cells such type of the reproduction is called as the asexual reproduction the asexual reproduction in the algae it takes place by the variety of motile or the non motile spores okay for example here the first one is the zoospores zoospores these are the motile spores and remaining all other spores aplanospores hypnospores tetraspores atospores acinetes exospores and the endospores all these spores are non motile okay here the only the first one zoospores are motile one and the remaining aplanospores hypnospores tetraspores atospores acinetae then exospores and the endospores all these spores are non motile okay that is about the asexual reproduction then sexual reproduction in the algae all groups of algae except cynophyce reproduces sexually when the gametes fuse to form the zygote okay there is a only one group cynophyce members or uh, these are cynophyce members these are popularly called as the blue green algae and as these are having the prokaryotic cell this group it is also referred as the cynobacteria okay in the cynophyce members 
or in the cyanobacteria or in the blue green algae the sexual reproduction does not take place but in all other algae the sexual reproduction is reported and it takes place by the fusion of the gametes and the formation of the zygote okay then here the thallus may be homothallic homothallic condition it is also referred as the monoecious that means the two fusing gametes these are produced on the same algal thallus in that case that condition is called as the homothallic or the monoecious homo means same and mono means single whenever the two fusing gametes are produced on the same algal thallus it is said to be the homothallic or the monoecious condition and when the two fusing gametes these are produced on the two different algal thalli hetero hetero means different and dio means two when the two fusing gametes these are produced on the two different algal thalli in that case that condition it is referred as the heterothallic or the dioecious conditions okay then there are three types of the sexual reproduction three types of sexual reproduction the first one is the isogamy iso means similar whenever the two fusing gametes are uh, identical in their shape size and the color they cannot be differentiated as a male gamete and female gamete in that case such a type of the sexual reproduction is called as the isogamy type of the reproduction and the gametes are referred as the isogametes okay both the gametes have the flagella and these are similar in the size and in their morphology they cannot identify it they cannot be differentiated as the male gamete and the female gamete iso means similar then as the name suggests the second type one anisogamy anisogamy here also the gametes have the flagella but these gametes are dissimilar in the shape and the size that is the one gamete is distinctly smaller and the other one is large okay here generally in the um, differently sized gamete the smaller sized gamete is always referred as the male gamete and the large sized gamete is referred as the female gamete okay as these are differently sized these are said to be the anisogamy okay in some of the book you can find the another uh, type of the anisogamy that is called as the physiological anisogamy physiological anisogamy means what that is these are gametes these are physiologically differentiated that means the gamete which is more active it is referred as the male gamete and the gamete which is not very much active it is referred as the female gamete and that is called as the physiological anisogamy okay that is because they can be differentiated depending upon their physiological behavior okay the gamete which is more active it is referred as the male gamete and the gamete which is not very much active it is referred as the female gamete then the oogamy oogamy it is considered as the most advanced type of the sexual reproduction where the gametes with the flagella which are referred as the sperms or these are referred as the antherozoids they fuses with the larger non flagellated gamete which is referred as the egg and such type of the sexual reproduction it is considered as the advanced type of the sexual reproduction and the isogamy that is the type of sexual reproduction here it is considered as the primitive type of the sexual reproduction in the algae okay that is all about the sexual reproduction then the classification of algae here in as per our syllabus the we are going to discuss the classification of algae which was proposed by the f e fritz in the 1935 to 48 while working on the algae he wrote the book structure and reproduction in the algae okay f e fritz he popularly called he is honored as the father of algology okay remember that f e fritz he is honored with the he is honored 
as the father of algology okay we and we are using the classification which was proposed by the f e fritz while working on the algae he wrote the book structure and reproduction in algae okay the algae it is classified in various ways by the different algologists but here we are using the classification which was proposed by the f e fritz in the 1935 to 48 while working on the algae he wrote the book structure and reproduction in the algae and he used the certain character for the classification of algae like the first one nature and properties of the pigments okay what type of the algal pigments are present in the algae that is the criteria which is used by the fritz then chemistry of the reserve food products then morphology of the flagella morphology of cells and thalli in life history reproductive structures and the methods of reproduction and the cell wall composition these were the characters which were used by the fritz for the classification of the algae okay and by using these character he divided the algae in the 11 classes the first one chlorophyce second one xanthophyce third one chrysophyce fourth one basiliophyce fifth one cryptophyce sixth one dinophyce seventh one chloromonadini the eighth one is the euglini ninth one pheophyce tenth one is the rhodophyce and the eleventh is the cynophyce or it is also called as the mixophyce okay i am repeating this one he divided the algae in the 11 classes as the first one is the chlorophyce second one is the xanthophyce third one is the chrysophyce fourth one basiliophyce fifth one cryptophyce sixth one dinophyce seventh one chloromonadini eighth one euglini ninth one pheophyce tenth one rhodophyce and the eleventh is the phyce okay that is all about the uh, all about the general characters of the